Miss Mario here in the East Midlands. I'm Emma Snow. Good afternoon. First, it's lunchtime. Unions say one East Midlands town will lose 2,000 jobs after a major rescue deal for the homeware chain Wilco fell through. More staff will go in hundreds of shops across the country, which are expected to close next month. But the GMB union says the whole region here will bear the brunt of the collapse of the high street retailer. Carolyn Moses reports. It's been Next, hospital inspectors are investigating Nottingham University Hospital's trust over the deaths of three babies in 2021. It could be prosecuted by the Care Quality Commission. The trust is already at the centre of the largest review into maternity care in the history of the NHS and the police are setting up an investigation as well. Our health correspondent Rob Sissons is in our newsroom. Rob, what more do we know about this? Yes, I'm a... So what more do we know about the cases that are being examined? Well, what we know... Now, there was a delayed start to the new term at a school in Newark today after potentially unstable concrete was found in the building. Holy Trinity Catholic Academy has moved quickly to install temporary classrooms, but the head teacher told us she would have liked more notice from the government, as Simon Ward reports. Living in care homes in the East Midlands are among the first to get the new COVID vaccine today. The autumn booster roll. Look at the weather forecast. Here's Sarah. Good afternoon. Well, we are seeing a change in the weather now. The temperatures are going to start to come down and it's going to turn a little bit wetter today. But after a fine start to the day out there, thank you to one of our weather watchers for capturing this lovely sunrise first thing this morning. Now, the change is all coming due to a weather front, which is wiggling around across the northwest of the country at the moment. It brings fresher air in behind it, but we are seeing a slight different feel to the day today out there. So we're also seeing the temperatures probably just in into the low 20s rather than the high 20s at the moment but quite a few showers around some of those showers into the afternoon so could certainly be quite heavy and possibly thundery a daytime temperature today close to around sort of anywhere between 21 to 23 celsius in places now through the evening and overnight a lot of the showers tend to start to ease and die away but they are going to be replaced by that weather front increasing the cloud and bringing some rain in and into the early hours that is so the nighttime temperature falls to lows close to 30 or 14 Celsius overnight and then that band of rain sinking south as slowly through tomorrow leaving a lot of cloud in its wake again maybe the odd isolated shower following in behind the drier weather not arriving much before the evening but quite a change in temperature we've lost at least 10 to 12 degrees compared to the weekend a maximum tomorrow close to 18 Celsius and this is how it's looking over the next few days it's certainly going to stay quite unsettled maybe Wednesday still turning into a decent day with temperatures into the high teens Thanks, Sarah. Well, that's all from me and the lunchtime team. And we'll be back with East Midlands today at 6.30. In the meantime, have a lovely afternoon, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye.